Calculate the ratio of electrostatic to gravitational force in case of electron and proton. So that should be KQ square by R square by GM square by R square. So in both the case of electron and proton, this term will be E square, but mass will vary for both. So if you put the constants and the values of charge and masses, you will get this ratio for electrons is 4 into 10 power 42 and for proton is 10 to the power 36. So if you expand this, it's going to look like this. So that much electrostatic force is greater than gravitational force in case of a proton. In case of electron, it's even more. So Fe is much, much greater than Fg. That's why we need heavenly bodies to see or feel the effect of gravity, like between sun and earth, between earth and moon. Whereas electrostatic force can be seen with a comb and a few paper crumbs. Now in second question it's asking, what is the ratio Q by M when these forces are equal? So when Fe is equal to Fg, K is kq square will become equal to gm square. So q by m becomes root of g by k. So again, if you put the universal constants here, you will get 8 q by m as 8.6 into 10 is 10 raised to the power minus 11 coulomb per kg. I don't want to draw it again, but you can figure out, you can just imagine 11 zeros at the denominator. So this ratio is so skewed that it's difficult to visualize the magnitude and effect of one coulomb charge unlike 1 kg so this see this ratio this is 1 coulomb divided by 1 kg but we know how much 1 kg looks like how much it how it feels like but 1 coulomb is such a big unit that unlike 1 kg it's very difficult to visualize what it can do how it appears we cannot say nothing about it. We cannot even imagine. It's very difficult to imagine. So yeah, this question is not about the maths part of it. It's just to get a feel of how powerful these electrostatic forces are.